Welcome to Mr. Sir Sports. We recently hit 1,000 subscribers, so thank all you guys for that. If you want to join the family and be entered to win a MacBook Pro and experience all the NFL news that's important that you need to know, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you're notified when our videos go live. When we hit 10,000 subscribers, we're giving away a MacBook Pro, like I mentioned. So don't forget to hit, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thank you guys again and enjoy the video. The Baltimore Ravens want to continue a negotiation with Lamar Jackson after the season when it comes to a long-term extension. I'm not sure if Lamar wants to be there. He's probably been frustrated with the team not giving him a deal before the season. Uh, hasn't been really many talks during the season about extending him, but they want to get back into it after the season. So do you think he re-signs with the Baltimore Ravens or do you think he ends up going – somewhere else and maybe go on to Miami, maybe, maybe replacing Tua because Tua has had so many head injuries and who knows if he's even going to play next year, he's going to continue or if the Dolphins even want him as their long-term quarterback. Yeah. It's, it's a good consideration and a good thing to think about with Miami that, Hey, Tua's had a lot of head injuries and obviously you got to put the human being first that if he, if he's unable to play the game, it's very unfortunate that that would be the case, but, you got to look elsewhere if that's the case. And we know Teddy Bridgewater, who they have now, is not the answer long term. And with Lamar, it is very shocking that they have not locked him up as of right now. You'd think someone as electrifying as he is, someone who's won an MVP, and especially someone who is still young enough. And the crazy thing is he's the same age as Stetson Bennett, who is still in the college football playoff. But yeah. it he's a guy that you – like, if you're a franchise or any – I don't want to say incompetent franchise because I think the Ravens historically have been a good franchise. It's very shocking that a franchise like this has not signed him, locked him up long-term. Most teams would, especially with his talents and his resume. Yeah, he may not have many playoff wins, but I think the regular season resume and what he's done speaks for itself. So if he does go to Miami, I think that would be insane. I think they would, I'm not saying, I'm not saying they'd be better than the bills, but they would be a shoe in for the wild card every year. So I, I think he could go somewhere else. What do you think? Yeah, I think if I'm him, I go to Miami. If they don't go with Tua and they want someone else, why wouldn't you go to Miami? They have Waddle, Hill, Wilson, Mostert, Gasecki. They got a lot of weapons. What do the Ravens have? Nothing. Sammy they Watkins. Have, they have they have Sammy Watkins. They have they have Mark Andrews. That's it. Mark Andrews. But like Lamar, you've won an MVP with, like, nothing around you. Imagine with how the stat line he'd put up with those guys around him. It'd be absurd. I think automatically, I think if they got Lamar, I think they would be favored to win the Super Bowl. I think preseason favorites, in my opinion, would be the Miami Dolphins, especially to even win that division. I think they would be the favorites to win it over the Bills at that point. I just think with that much speed at wide receiver, those running backs – with the speed at quarterback you got, I think there's nobody that can stop that team.